Every once in a while, a fact comes along that shakes your belief system to its core. Like just now, when you found out that a chemical compound used in vanilla flavoring comes from the anal glands of beavers. <gasps> or when you realize that loading your car full of passengers and cargo won't change its top speed. <gasps> To travel down the road, your car must first overcome its weight. Power divided by weight is a great way to predict acceleration. Top speed, however, is equal to power divided by drag. Your car experiences two main types of drag. Well, three if you're a RuPaul fan. The first is rolling resistance, which is basically what it takes to push your tires along the pavement. The second is air resistance. Stick your hand out your car's window on the highway at 100 miles an hour, and it'll be four times harder than waving at someone at 50 in a school zone. In other words, aerodynamic drag increases with the square of speed. So pushing an object like your car through the air at twice the speed requires four times the power. This is not the case with rolling resistance. So by the time you're traveling at highway speed, air resistance is the dominant force your engine is working against. The formula to calculate air resistance literally doesn't even take weight into consideration at all. It's just your car's coefficient of drag times its frontal area times the square of its speed times a constant. Weight isn't even in there. Adding weight, like passengers and luggage, can increase rolling resistance, but not enough to significantly change top speed. Why? Well, first, you can and should compensate for the extra load by adding additional pressure to your tires. That's why manufacturers often give two sets of recommended pressures, one for normal driving and one for a fully loaded car. Increasing tire pressure all but negates the added rolling resistance from the extra weight. Moreover, by the time you're going really fast, rolling resistance is so small compared to aero drag that even if it does increase, the effect on top speed is tiny. According to math, adding a thousand pounds to the little BMW behind me would decrease its top speed by just two miles an hour. Except not really, because that car, like all cars, has suspension, which means the more stuff you put in it, the lower it is to the ground. This has the effect of reducing frontal area and typically the drag coefficient, which is another way of saying it reduces overall aerodynamic drag. And that benefit is usually more than enough to make up for any extra rolling resistance. So your car might actually be faster when loaded to the gills, as long as you're not going up a hill it'll just take longer to get to that top speed. Oh hey, crunch on this. Adding a lot of extra weight won't increase braking distances either. Your car might actually stop shorter when it's fully loaded. <laughs> I'll do an episode on that later because speaking of things that are definitely related to each other, I need to go wash my car because it's a drought and we all know the only way to guarantee to make it rain is to wash your car. Hashtag science. <laughs> You're not an idiot. You know how this stuff works. Like, subscribe, comment, and don't forget to check out the Haggerty Drivers Club.